All right, guys. As you can see, it is a uh, gray, dreary, stormy beginning to the winter of 2021-2022. We are on this gloomy, depressing, slit your wrist kind of first day of winter, which would be Tuesday, December 21st. 2021, uh, 12-21-21, as we slip into winter here in the Sunshine State, but I guess we need the rain, so uh, I guess what I was doing when we crossed from the fall of 2021 when we fell out of the fall and into the winter on this stormy night, I was probably staring at the uh, at the ceiling. Uh, I've been up. It was uh, 3:45 that I awoke and uh, lay there for about six and a half hours six and a half hours pretty much staring at the ceiling and uh, with visions of suicide floating through my head in this holiday season suicide ideation I think they call it which is this phase I've been here many times before you know all the usual things you think of uh, when figuring out whether or not just to go ahead and uh, and end this shit, end this pointless charade. Of course, there's the method. My method of choice would be fentanyl, uh, and you know I'm back to this thing. Reading the fucking mainstream media, you would think that there's 18 wheelers full of this shit called fentanyl floating around and now I hear that there's even a new one even more poisonous than fentanyl uh, and it, it, it acts like we have this epidemic of fentanyl either accidental or you know on purpose overdosing on fentanyl uh, I have been chasing the elusive ghost of fentanyl for at least three years. I have no more idea how to get my hands on some fucking fentanyl than I do, uh, you know, on some goddamn pixie fairy dust. Uh, I have no fucking clue how to get my hands on some fentanyl. And so there's, there's that. Uh, obviously is the uh, is the number one thing I was thinking about how to fucking get my hands on some fucking fentanyl so I can just you know uh, have a final margarita for the end times and and uh, drift off to sleep and never wake the fuck up again so that's the first challenge how the fuck do you find this stuff if anybody out there listening to this knows how to, to to get how I can get my hands on some fucking fentanyl, please let me know. There's that, but then there's the more practical, uh, you know, the I, being a Virgo, uh, there is the practical side of, of taking oneself out and, you know, things, things like real estate. Uh, you know, like in New York, for instance, so with Bugs in a Jar Farm, if uh, since someone who will remain nameless never really uh, dotted this I and crossed this T before I left New York, if I were to die today, uh, Bugs in a Jar Farm would go to the state of New York. The state of New York would uh, become the, the owner of Bugs in a Jar Farm and then I guess they would just sell it 
and uh, probably for a pretty good price and just I don't know whether it would go into the general fund or whatever and I really don't know what would happen I, I'm really in a unique position uh, down here in the Point Lonesome Swamp uh, because of course who I had willed my property to here was Lulu you know, I willed it to her. We got it, uh, you know, witnessed and notarized. We have it recorded with the county uh, that if I were to die, that Lulu would be the one to inherit the property. But, of course, Lulu took herself out. So now I honestly don't know what would happen to because yeah, I don't, I mean, no one knows about this. Well, so I honestly don't know now since she blew her fucking brains out. And so it's no longer here. Would it go to her children? But I don't think her children have any fucking idea that, uh, you, you know, about the will or how to find it. So my guess is... Uh, if I get my hands on some fentanyl and, and uh, just get this uh, shit over with, that this property here would go to the state of Florida. Hopefully the guy buying it would uh, end up with it because, you know, I'm in, I'm in the middle of a real estate contract. We're scheduled to close on January 22nd. He just doubled his earnest money. Uh, an hour ago, he let me know that uh, he has removed all contingencies and the uh, earnest money has been doubled and we're set to close on January 22nd. Wouldn't that piss that dude off uh, if I were to take myself out? That would make this a very interesting real estate deal that both of the property owners next door to each other at the end of the road uh, took themselves out. So, you know, is so before you take yourself out, you probably, you know, like, I really give a fuck what happens to these two pieces of property uh, after I'm dead. So anyway, there, there's that. But there's also the issue of what do you do with the dog? What do you do with the little dog? Uh, now, Lulu, when she blew her brains out, she just had the dogs in there in the house, in the living room with her. Uh, her little, she had this little uh, emotional support dog named Lily. It was a little Jack Russell Terrier. I think for Lily was eight or nine years old that this was literally an emotional support animal. Uh, she had that dog with her and then her pit bull. Uh, she just took herself out and just left the dogs for, you know, a mess for someone else to clean up. Uh, I talked to someone who actually saw the dogs down in the dog pound uh, so I don't know what happened to these dogs so that's the way that uh, that Lulu handled it uh, but you know I'd, I'd always uh, of course the main dog that I think about whenever I'm having uh, suicidal ideations is I believe what was Michael Rupert's dog? Was it Rags or Patches? I think the dog's name was Rags, and and I've told this story before. But uh, anyone who's not aware of what happened to Rags when uh, Michael Rupert had finally had enough of this shit and uh, blew his fucking brains out finally uh, took the leap of faith and blew his brains out. You know, he obviously loved this dog, Rags. Uh, Rags, you know, was a major part of Michael's life. 
And uh, so what Michael did when he fucking uh, blew his brains out, it was at his, uh, you know, that he did this, his radio podcast, The Lifeboat Hour, and uh, went home and, you know, in his truck, so Michael left rags inside the truck, and he stepped outside to the driveway. Michael just was in his driveway outside of his fucking doomsday trailer uh, out there in Petaluma, California, and, you know, stuck the gun in his mouth and pulled the fucking trigger with rags was locked in the truck. So he chose, like Lulu, he chose not to kill the dog, to uh, let someone else find the dog, and it was his landlord uh, who found Michael in rags the next day, uh, and I don't know if the YouTube is still up there, the interview with his landlord, it's pretty, it's a pretty creepy uh, YouTube video, probably been taken down. But in the interview, you know, the landlord talks about letting rags out of the truck. You know, this dog that supposedly was bonded with Michael Rupert, uh, that they were like soulmates. And so apparently rags hopped out of the truck. Michael's body was laying there dead in in the uh, driveway and Rags hops out of the truck and pretty much just it completely has no interest in, in Michael's dead body. Had no fucking interest whatsoever. Uh, he hopped out of the truck and it was like any other day in the life of a dog. Uh, there, there was no fucking grief uh, uh, or anything registered on Rag's face. I honestly don't know what the little dog would think about. My, my guess is that uh, Sancho would, would basically, his response uh, would be just no interest. He would... He would want uh, me to let him outside to chase fucking squirrelies. And then, of course, at some point, uh, he would want some goddamn food. And so I'm lying there, and, and, and I've had this one before, is do I kill Sancho? What do you think, little dog? Do I kill the little dog on my way out or not. Uh, and then of course, how would I kill the little dog? How would I kill you, little dog? Uh, obviously, if I had, if I go the fentanyl route, uh, it, it would, it would be, uh, you know, he would take his dose and I would take mine. Uh, but the decision, do I kill Sancho? Uh, th th this, is, th this is the shit that I, that I was thinking about on the first day of winter. Do I or do I not kill my little dog? Uh, my guess, if, 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 I, <laughs> if, if, if I kill this little dog uh, on my way out, that, that more people uh, learning, uh, learning that information that Hambone killed Sancho uh, more people would be pissed off uh, about me taking out Sancho than uh, taking myself out. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. Uh, Yeah, he's over there. Your husband's over there, or your wife, or whoever. Oh, fuck.
You know, so I honestly don't know how long it would take anyone to find me if, 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 I, if, if I were to take my, I, I mean, I guess it took them two days to find Lulu and, you know, with the dogs just in the house with her. I don't know if she left any food and water in the bowl for them. Uh, I, I honestly don't know how long it would take uh, for anyone to find me. We we're supposed to close on January 22nd, I, so the buyer wants to be down here for the closing. So I guess it would be, you know, uh, around January 20th when anybody would even fucking find me. Uh, so if I don't kill Sancho, I, I guess I, I guess what I do is just prop the door open. I, I pour out a 10 pound bag of dog food and prop the door open so he can come in and out to his food. Uh, the, you know, and, and I, I mean, now Sancho, uh, obviously anybody who, uh, who, it, it, who finds Sancho still alive, I'm not worried that there would be no problem. Everyone wants, uh, to have this little dog, so, uh. Honestly, don't know how I would play that one out. Uh, so let's put it up to a vote. Does Hambone take Sancho with him or leave him behind? Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll put it up to a vote of the tribe's members. Uh, Kill the little dog uh, along with yourself, Hambone, or uh, or let the little dog live. Uh, so anyway, this is what I'm thinking about today. This is how I am celebrating the uh, how I am celebrating the winter solstice. Do I or do I not kill the dog? <sighs> and uh, I guess when I finally figure out how to get my hands on some of this mythical fentanyl, uh, I will I will figure that out. You know, we have to do things in their logical order. I'm going to get back to my uh, pointless, useless life now. And the little dog can get back to. There's no squirrelies out today. Even the squirrelies are depressed a little. There's no squirrelies out today. That might be a squirrelie right there. I noticed the resurrection ferns have come back from the grave that all of these oak trees are covered with these resurrection ferns. <laughs> I love all this lush green life returning to the Point Lonesome Swamp. Get out there and stockpile your fentanyl while you still can. Bye guys. <laughs>